So Nick, I've seen some research recently about what, and we asked people what they cared about most in life. And what they found was the people around us today care most about love, about an interpersonal relationship, a strong, safe, secure bond with somebody. It's a really interesting suggestion because the same literature suggests that most people spend their resources on work. They spend their money on training. They spend time, attention and effort on developing skills that are work-related. And that's true when you think about it, like we go through school, you know, so many, eight years of school, so many years of high school, we go to TAFE college, technical college, university perhaps, all focused on getting work and working for a living, you know, and yet we lose sight of this living to work. What? Yeah, yeah I, I, I think I understand what you're saying, um, it's almost like we become distracted and we miss the point that matters to us most in life. It seems like we... Um, don't consider that perhaps some training or de skill development in the areas where we care about is no longer important. Yeah, it's as if we seem to assume that we're going to inherit some sort of life, that our life skills, our interpersonal skills, and, and yet, you know, we do so much training, so many hours of study and everything else to, to work. This skill is not inherited. We need to do some study about it. I agree. I agree. And, and yet there is a perception in the community when, when we talk about um, psychology or psychotherapy or counselling, it seems like the community believe that you have to have some severe mental health disorder or perhaps um, be necessarily labelled as crazy. And um, it doesn't necessarily um, mean that a person who turns up at, a, at our doorstep has severe symptoms. No, that's true. I mean, the research shows that psychologists are quite effective at helping people with severe symptoms, but at the same time we're even more effective if people come in before they're overwhelmed with their emotions. Um, and that's, that's true. Uh, I guess um, what, what we're trying to say is uh, it's okay for people to access therapy sessions if that means that they're developing skills or training for more, uh, to be more effective in uh, taking steps towards the, the kind of life that they dream about or the kind of life that gives meaning. Um, this was Lynn Thompson, thank you for um, helping create this video blog. Thank you, Nick Kotlerov, it's been very interesting to talk to you today. And uh, we're, we're hoping to put this blog out there for people to be able to access some resources and, and put some tips out there how you can start today developing some skills that will help you create a vital, meaningful life. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you.